Hello, everybody. We are back again in the second course for Knights of the Old Republic. So the question has just been asked, and I told Nathan to think about it. Jedi or wizard? <clears throat> the time old question. Which one would you want to be? And no. for wizard, I'm not talking about Harry Potter wizard. I'm talking like wizard. Like let, let's let's put it in the terms of D and D wizard. But just like a Jedi and just like a wizard, you would have to live in those respective worlds and do that. Like, if you're a Jedi, you got to be a Jedi in this world. Okay, so there's a couple questions. Do you start off, like, let's say I, I'm choosing one and, like, do I just turn into it or am I just like, this has been my life? You have to, like, you have to, let's... Let's say you got to go all in. You've got to be born into that world and you become it. Okay, so you're starting off from level zero. Yep. And and you're training your whole way through. Okay. I'm going to deal with these thugs in the background. <sighs> Honestly? That's kind of hard. Okay, because it depends on how skilled I am in each realm. All right, because I would much rather be a powerful Jedi than a powerful wizard. Really? Yes. I just just because of my love of Star Wars, I understand you can do much more and have you know a powerful wizard could beat a powerful Jedi. Yes. Any day, any day, hands down, there is no debate about that. Um, there's just stuff that the wizard can do that the Jedi has no just, defense against. Yeah. Like, he, <laughs> he... I don't care how strong he is. I don't think he's going to beat a master wizard. No. Absolutely not. All right, so are we helping this guy? Oh, um... Okay, here, here is where it comes down to. Are we going to... Are You got, You got to choose right now. Are you going to do light side or dark side? Or are you going to phase between both? For now... Because Karth will be a little bitch the whole time, uh -huh. I'm gonna dark. I'm gonna go light side for now. Okay. Once we start getting other, once we start getting other party members, I might switch it up. Okay. I forgot about that. Karth is a bit of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys are gonna teach us a lesson? Yeah, sure. Here, take one of these. Oh, wow. come on. Is it your strength does add to your attack modifier, correct? Yeah, attack modifier for um, melee. Yeah. But I was using a power attack, so that took it down. So. Okay. Um, you know, ears yeah, on. you don't have your ears on. You can't hear shit. Um, sure, I can give you money. A hundred credits? Easy. I just won, like, six hundred. That's true. Here you go. They're gonna kill this guy over a hundred credits? <laughs> like damn, damn. <laughs> it's tough times. You're living on a Sith-controlled planet, but still, yeah. I got more light side points, so that's good. Um, remains. But uh, I think I'd rather be a master, master Jedi. Okay, so it's it's a weird question because I would not want to be a Jedi. You I would, would have to be. You would have to be in that world, like. Yeah, I like. I'd like to be in that world, and I'm cool. I'm cool living with the order for amount of time if I have to. But I would like to eventually leave the Jedi Order. I would not want to be a Jedi. I would want to be a Force user, a powerful Force user in that galaxy. But I think being a Jedi would suck. I mean, you could probably do that, but what would you do? What would you do then? I don't know. I don't know. And that is something that greatly excites me. Because if I was a wizard, I have a few ideas of some things I would do. I would definitely go uh, extra dimensional traveling. And, and you gotta be careful with that shit. I, yeah, I know, I know. And that's I'd probably die really quickly if I was a, if I was a powerful wizard. Because I would check out extra planar places. Ooh. And I know that. I know that, hands down. <laughs> I probably would eventually, but I would make sure... I would definitely, like, wait. Mm -hmm. a while. Like, even even when I unlock the ability to do so, I probably wouldn't unless I absolutely had to. Yeah. I would also... 
I know I would dabble in necromancy. I know I would dabble in necromancy. Because I think that's dope. I mean, <laughs> I you think can, that's you dope could technically fun. use necromancy for good. You can. You can, absolutely. And there, there are ways to use necromancy to benefit people. But it's just, you know, a dark practice. I don't know. You, I mean, you still have to take lives. You could probably use it for good. I mean, technically, no, because a lot of things die naturally all the time. Yeah. You just have to, you know, make sure that's the only place that you you'll get them. It's a very it's a very situational like ability because like if you're in if you're in a very war torn world, mm -hmm. you know there there's camps getting raided, you know towns getting raided all the time, and then. Goblins and orcs yeah. and like you know you gotta you just have to pick your location well you'd have to yeah. be like more towards where dangerous creatures are because you know in in say a Dungeons and Dragons style world there are crazy creatures yeah. all over the place yeah you just have to make sure that you don't go like find them and that's the thing like if I was gonna be a necromancer I would want. See, I don't know. There's a lot of schools of magic that are really cool, but I think necromancy really takes it. Because, but, but to become a good necromancer, you have to become a lich. Like, you have to become a lich king. Mm. And and because the, the the highest form of necromancy is the undead dragon, Helping people and being able to resurrect oneself. Yeah. And, then only the rich. If you and like. There I are, just think that's are, so badass. There are still ways to like reach immortality without um, oh, yeah. being a lich. Absolutely. And I think that's what I would want to go for. Like, finding the right way of immortality. Yeah. And a, proper, a proper life uh, life school, doesn't that have some kind of self-heal after death? Um, maybe. I'm not 100% <clears throat> sure. But, like... You know, I'd, I'd say, screw this. I want to make sure that I have a say in how, like, society is run. Uh-huh. Like, I would just become, oh, Karth, where the... Get your ass over here. What are you doing? He's just fucking around. See, and that's why, uh... That's why I would rather be a Jedi. Because, like, if I was in that world, I know I would probably eventually be a Sith. That's just me. I, I just know myself. I would probably eventually be a Sith. But. Man, child, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shit. What do you call me? I hope, hope you don't need <laughs> this. Um, I don't know, but what well, what would you rather be? A wizard. A wizard? A wiz I've just got a thing with the arcane. Yeah. Like, I like it. It just, it just definitely seems like the place for me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. Man, I like these old style Sith troopers. Yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of baller. Mm -hmm. Did you see that, uh, the new, uh, the new era of Star Wars that's being created? They're... The new Sith Lord has been uh, revealed. Uh, Darth Talon ah. is coming to Disney Canon. The you ever see the Twi'lek that's got the tattoos like Darth Maul? Yeah, that's Darth Talon, and uh, she is actually, for those of you who don't know, in Legends continuity, uh, she is the apprentice of Darth Krait, who is the Sith Lord after the final fall of Palpatine, of Darth Sidious. <clears throat> um, he, he comes around, like, after the Yuzang Vong, actually, I believe during, I, I think Luke Skywalker and Darth Krait, Luke Skywalker and Darth Krait team up to defeat a being known as Adaloth, who is a Force demon. Um, and that's, like, 30 years after the end of the original series. Hmm. 30 or 30 or 35 years something like that um but ha, that's, I got the Sith armor that is dope I see I like how I like pr progression in this game you get a lot of different armors and weapons not like the second game it's a lot more limited yeah you gotta get very specialized things mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm wondering what they're going to do with Darth Talon now, because, like, I'm, here, I'm hearing a few different stories. The new project is supposed to be the High Republic, and that's, like, before... Yoda is still alive at this point, but this is before he's Grandmaster. Okay. So, it's just a few hundred years before the original series, or, or the prequel series. Dude, I would have loved to see Yoda as a Jedi Knight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I hope we get to see him a little bit younger, you know? Because this has to be at least four to five hundred years before the prequel series, before episode one. Okay. Um, and so he is, when he dies, he is like 980 years old. So he'd be like somewhere in the 300 to 400 year old range at the time of the High Republic. So I, yeah, I want to see like what the fuck he can do. <laughs> Just talking to this guy about plans and stuff. Um, Alright, goodbye. Saved his life. We got the uniforms. That's how we're going to get to the lower city. Man, they really don't like aliens in this game. Nah, Sith are racist. Mm -hmm. Karth, come on, Karth. Yes, what's in your oh, we just talked to you. Um, I forgot just how much character development there is. Oh, the development. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can Sounds like Gary, Indiana. Yeah. I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. If this was your last day. Oh, well, it's an interrogation you wanted. Why don't you say so? <laughs> all my secrets are purely of the mundane variety. Nothing worth extracting, so you're welcome. Isn't he a love interest? Yeah, I think I think they made it to where you have to be a female character though. Oh, okay. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Sure. Bastard Liz is powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, too. I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Oh, suspicion starts already. Mm -hmm. I'm just a soldier. <clears throat> Unless you consider that you were a last minute addition. See, I wish you really could just go full dark side, like... Just, just like it was my plan the whole time. Yeah. I just want want a game where I can literally kill anyone I want. Not to mention that Bastia's like just to see what happens. If it's a main main storyline character, if the, if the game needs to end right there, then I'll see a game over and I'll be proud of it. I'll be <laughs> like, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> like, do you know how many games you could? Skip so much bullshit if you can kill someone right in the beginning of the game. Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. You could skip the whole next game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I had in mind, too. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do it does. Yeah, that means you don't trust me. Yeah, it's a little personal. I consider this important. Right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? But later, right now, I just want to get going. Like how they just walk through. Yeah. She's got a path, and she's like, I'm trying to stick to my path yeah. as closely as I can. See, that's where I killed the Sith. Gotta find as much stuff as you can. Car! The door! Hold the door. Largo. Oh, Largo. I remember this guy. Uh, let me get your stuff first. Yeah. Let me rob you real quick. Largo. I think. Please. Please don't hurt me. 
You don't have to kill me. I'll have Daddick's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Daddick where I'm hiding, okay? Hmm. I don't know about that. 50 cribs ain't really enough. I've always taken this guy's credit. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not here to kill me? You can usually get more from people from doing good yeah. side stuff. Yeah, normally. It's been a long time since I played this, and like I was a kid, and I was just straight dark side. I oh was my such God. a cynical little bastard. Maybe I can help you with your problem. <laughs> How much money? Too much. Ugh, do I give him 200 credits? I don't... Oh, wait, no, I don't know if I even have 200 credits. You do. Yeah, I, I bought everything I needed. Fair. I, the, in this game, I don't care about the money. Yeah, it doesn't help a whole lot. No, I usually... Because, like, I think you would use money if, like, you had to go through a lot of equipment and things were really, really hard for you, but I built a character to avoid doing that. Yeah. So, boom. I got XP. I have a good person points. How many good people points good I got? Good people points. Oh, yeah, plenty of good people points. And you're is that full circle? not even out of the apartment complexes yet. That is full circle. We are back to the exit. All right, we're going to be going mm -hmm. to the lower city soon. I think mm -hmm. I just... Actually, no, I don't even need to go to the droid shop. You should, I think. Uh, don't you learn about an astromech droid there? No, that's later. Okay. Like, I think you just... I, usually you just buy parts and stuff from her. Oh, here's some of my favorite stuff. He's drunk, guys. What is this planet coming to, huh? Oh, these slummies. Slummies just walking around. There we go. Slummies. Yeah, like you said. These streets are for upper city citizens. You better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hmm. No, you can't fight them. Mm hmm. Uh, come on, fellas. This lobby ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas. <laughs> let's go. Maybe next time, Slummy. Ah, uh, good old Slummy fun. Those guys are the racists. No. Those are the white supremacists right there. Those are the real ones, the real threat. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'll talk to them on the way out. But yeah, here's a droid shop. Um, I can buy this droid, but it just immediately breaks down when you get out there. Oh, so that's it's right. it's not worth it. Do you get your money back? I think you come back in, and I don't think so. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, I see inventory. Okay, so I still got a pretty good amount of money left. But these are just robot stuff, and I don't need any of that right now. Not yet. Yeah, so this will come in handy later. <laughs> but I think this guy's just shouting when I get close enough. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. You know what scourge he's talking about? Friends and fellow humans. I bring oh, yeah. A warning of the a malian stuff. Spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Cody. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout our planet. You know... I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk... This could be time. right before a time when there was a, uh, like an alien purge in the galaxy. Because, uh, there were, there were a lot of times in the Republic that, like... It was very human dominated, and like they did not like aliens several times throughout galactic history. And uh, there were two or three actual purges of entire species. Um, and they, they're just always being treated as second class citizens and shit like that. Like, it's really amazing when you look at it just how many times in a whole galactic fucking. You know, the, the Republic before its fall was around for like. I don't know, 20,000 years? And, uh, I mean, that's a long time, but to see how many times that, like, just ignorance took over, like, seeing the rise of the Empire isn't surprising at all. 
Oh, I put the, the Sith armor on him, so we're getting down easy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> And typically I would take the armor off him right when we get down there, but he's just got clothes and they don't provide any defense. Yeah, you might so, as well. So he's going to have the Sith armor on for a bit, peeps. Don't, uh, don't NPCs react to that, or no? Yeah, but just for, just because when, once you walk ahead, there's a fight. Okay. As soon as you get there. Yeah, but he's just got no armor, so with that on, he's at least got a little defense. They get messed up. Yeah, it doesn't go very well. Hit him with the power attack. Hit him with the molly walk. Alright, dudes, let's go. <clears throat> oh, he missed. That's not good. Why are you missing? Dude, why are you missing? Yeah, these guys... There must be some kind of effect. Maybe I'm just, like, not getting... I, th I think once I level up and I get the next feat for two-weapon fighting, because I am two-weapon fighting, so that puts yeah. me at a disadvantage to hit. Yeah. Um, I think once I get that up, I'll be good. All right, I don't think I need to go over there. But I'm going to explore everything. So we are going through here, and hopefully we level up. Dude, I've been having... I need to go to the fucking doctor. I just don't. Um... I've been having these like weird pains and it's like not like consistently but like just every so often and it's like hmm doesn't seem all that important yeah and it's like I've got like basic insurance but I've also got not the money to deal with hospital bills right now <laughs> right no one does <clears throat> I could repair that droid but I don't wanna get you XP yeah, dude, I love coming down here. This is a great place for XP. Oh, yeah. Especially with your type of build. Man, yeah, a lot of people gotta worry about it. Blasters in this game really just aren't worth it. It's like, they're, they're nice, but you have to have some kind of character like this one is built. Mm -hmm. It's like, when this guy hits, he hits hard. But he misses yeah. often. Also, I think I'm going to pause it when I get there, but there's going to be a chest up ahead that I'm going to have to solve a riddle to open. Uh oh. Um, <clears throat> you don't use a grenade. I don't really use my grenades very often. They come in handy every now and then. Helped weaken that guy. Give me your shit. I do like that none of these doors are locked. Yeah, they're gangsters. They don't care. Yeah, because they're ready to throw hands when that door opens. Karth, they've got a shield. But keep blasting them. You're doing something. Aha. There's that level up. Any remains. Aha. I always like to ch ch check the remains first. Yeah, I don't like that it's... Um... Heavy blaster, man. I don't like that it takes a few seconds to pop up like that. I always end up running past some. Yeah, that's why I always wait. Mm -hmm. Alright, time to level I up. get impatient. Attributes, strength, skills, persuade, feats. Another one for two weapon fighting so I can hit more. Um, see. Next, I'm going to go for implant. And then after that, I'm going to go for more toughness, for more health. Yeah. Alright, I think... I think in, a, in the next room coming up, we've got that puzzle to solve. There's like a story that you have to read, and you have to get these lights up in a certain order to get what's in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember this. So, let's see. This... The Twisted Rancor. 
All right, so essentially, I'm just going to fill you in on what I'm going to have to do. That, that little data pad I got, it's a story. we got to read the story, and then we have to select the characters in the order that they appear in the story. So I'm probably just going to pull it up when we're on the last one and opening it. So uh, be right back, guys. Bam! Lickety split. Didn't take any time at all. It's simply a story about these guys' band and the order they all got into the band. And that's the last one. If you try and open the box, it blows up. And I don't think you get the same reward, which I think the reward is actually pretty damn good. Yes. Johnny Fiber Armor. Yes, and that armor is moddable. So we're going to put that on you. Get over to Karth. Put that on him. Uh, we're going to give our energy shield to our boy Karth. Keep him protected yeah. in the back. Because we got fucking flail arms over here. Mm-hmm. Now that I have wep uh, two-handed weapon fighting too, I should do better. Oh, this one actually does have security. So I should just be hitting more. There's still a negative on it, but once I get two weapon, two weapon fighting three, it's all over. <laughs> My dude's ready to fight. He really is, though. What are you doing here? This place looks abandoned. He says after breaking in. Oh, I knew I forgot something. What? Uh, but he needs a certain object that you can buy from the upper city. Oh. Um. I'll make sure to come back for him. Okay. I love that. I could rob this place. Uh, yeah, I need to. I need to get my uh, persuade up because that that guy has a quest for me. Okay. But that also gives me time to get the. Um, to get the detonator. Oh, okay, so I've come all the way through here. Time to go. Oh. I did forget about that detonator. Yeah, because he has to make it look like I blew him to smithereens. Mm -hmm. That's been too long. Okay, we've got club. Do I need to go? You said you were going to save that for your breakfast tomorrow. I said that, and I lied to myself. You've eaten idea. so much of that beef jerky, dude. Yeah, I love your it. Your poops are going to be so meaty. Oh, yeah. He's got a huge bag of beef jerky that he bought a few hours ago, and it's almost gone. Man. Um, I do I need it. to go into the cantina? I think they put illicit drugs in the beef jerky. Uh, I'll check out the cantina. I really need to know how vehicles get started. Uh oh. In the Star Wars world. I was gonna, I don't know if I was gonna watch this, but. Cause like, it seems like most of the time people can just hop onto anything and just fly away. That's true. They've got like starters. Like, I know uh, speeders have. <clears throat> a lot of speeders have like Kickstarters, like Harley bikes. Yeah. And, um. Uh, I don't know about some other things. I, I don't really know. That's something I've never even fucking wondered about. It's a good question, though. <laughs> like, can anybody just get on it? Like, if they can get into the ship, they fly? Because like, you're right. I mean, sometimes they literally just grab the controls and jerk them a little bit. And, and it's just like, like oh, time to fly. Life. Yeah. Bio signatures, maybe. Oh, I wish I would have remembered this because I would have saved to see if I could fight this guy right now. Is that an option? What? Is that an option? Oh, yeah. I can fight him right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm too way oh. too low of a level because you're not supposed to fight him until you finish like two planets. Yeah. So I'm just going to avoid this little this little guy. Ooh, yeah, but I am going to loot ass. these guys' bodies. Is it morally wrong to loot the dead? I don't think so. They're not. They're not use using it. it. Yeah. Let's see. Holden. Huh? What? Oh, so you know he's a jerk. See you there. I don't normally go for these alien trolls. Oh, he's a racist. He's a racist. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Oh, he's one of those guys. 
You work for Davik? I don't even know who Davik is yet. But that name. Something that's got to be said about the Star Wars world is, like, you've got options. Oh, yeah. Like, he was a customs agent, so if he wanted to, he's like, yeah, I could be a smuggler. I know how to do it. Yeah. Because I know what we do to defend against it. That's just the thing. There's so much you could do in the Star Wars galaxy, like, anywhere. And if you're a powerful Force user... Oh, yeah, but man. don't you think that'd make you a target wherever you went? Let it let 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 them target you. Like when I'm talking powerful, I'm talking like Star Killer powerful. Yeah, but what still, I like, what kind of life would you be able to live? Anything you want. And that's why I would be a Sith. That's that's why I would end up being a Sith. I mean, because like I wouldn't let anything get in my way. If I was that powerful with the Force, I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> You'd want to rule it. I would, you know, I wouldn't really care much about ruling. I would want to live my life the way I want to live my life, and no one's gonna stop me from doing that. Yeah, but people <laughs> getting in the way all the time can't help. No, that's true, but that's where the whole Sith thing comes in. That that always ends bad. I know that, but I like the I like this little spunky girl. Uh huh. Although she is one of those people that talks tough shit. Because she's got a strong friend. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, not many people are gonna talk shit against a giant Wookiee, man. I mean, she she could probably hold her own, but uh -huh. you know that those mouth her mouth is flapping way more because she knows there's a Wookiee. Like, no. Uh -huh. Like, what are those things gonna do? I need to exercise. To tell me about it. But here we are. Playing video Playing games. Video games. Yep. But we're having a good time. I might work out after you go, which might actually have to be soonish, yeah. Yeah. We'll find a good spot here soon. You greenies. I love her so much. She's one of the main, you know, one of the big characters from this game. The later decisions with her kind of broke my heart going through on a dark side run. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's not racist. Right. Why can I only say these things? Because <laughs> you're ignorant and they want you to know that. <laughs> I mean, I guess my character does only have 10 intelligence. <laughs> they want to make sure that you understand. Mission, that's her name. What is the name of the Wookiee in the second game? Do you remember? I don't think there's a Wookiee in the second Yeah, he's game. a oh, bounty wait. hunter. I think there is. I don't remember. Because I keep thinking they're the same Wookiee, but they can't be. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Dalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we should look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Uh, time to go. Hanhar, that's who this head one was. What's his name? Hanhar. Hanhar? Yeah. This fucking glutton. But I haven't finished eating. Fuck yeah, look at that thing, man. It could probably eat a horse. Like, legitimately. I also love getting experience for social situations. Like, yeah. all I did was introduce myself and talk to them. What does this per oh this is bounty hunters? I can get info on bounties. Yeah, yeah, I don't like listening to you. Uh, no, I'm not gonna talk to him about the rat cool serum. I'm gonna be good. Uh, tell me about the bounties. Assassin name Slavin. Ben Dead Star Killer. 
What a name. Other bounties. Dia, Holden. Yeah. Largo. I gave him the money. He's cleared. Man, everyone is so against you, like, being a bad guy. Is there any character other than HK-47 that is, like, cool with the dark side? Oh, that cat lady, right? The cat lady actually will bend more towards whatever you're leading in the force, because okay. if you save her, um, she is, like, just wants attached to, to you. Yeah. Sound more like contract killings. They don't play games. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I'll probably do the uh I'll probably do the contracts, but I'm not gonna do the uh Should I? Dance? Dance. Do the dance. I'll come back to this. Alright. Because I gotta come back here anyway. I don't wanna I don't wanna put you guys through that right now. <laughs> I think I finished everything that I want to in here for now. I see that dance in my dreams at night to this day. <laughs> to this day. I played this at least fifteen years ago. <laughs> Let's see. Then I can get into the hidden Beck base by talking to her. It's funny, like, if you try and go into the door, she's like, what are you doing? But if you talk to her, I think she says something different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like, even if you just talk to her, she says that. Yeah. You're still gonna let me in, right? Just come in. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you'll give the vultures orders. Besides, it's not like you can do If you just put on the Sith armor while you're in there, I think they just start shooting at you. Really? I think so. <laughs> That'd be cool. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. The hidden backs. Loading. Oh, you know what? I I need to save it. So yeah. here, let's let's do this. Let's go right in here. Save the game. No, those are my other games. Yeah, we gotta make a new one. <clears throat> new game. And um, oh, it won't even let you put yeah, it on you in can't here. Even wear it. Look at that. Okay. Hey, hidden Bex. Right there. <laughs> what is your business with Gaddis? Calm down. Looks like a freaky scene in the middle of our own base. Oh, that purple. You're too trusting, Gaddon. Frederick and his Vulcars want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my I've never been able to understand if this guy is blind. Because <laughs> when you look at it when it when it zooms in on his eyes, you'll see. Yeah. No, just fuck. No, <laughs> I just pressed the button. Talk to him from across the desk. You'll have to forgive them. Ever since Frederick and the Vulcans began this war again, she's been a little over. Just gotta make it a little complicated. Two thousand one, man. <laughs> it's a little complicated. They couldn't. They couldn't figure out. Just like, oh, just walk up a little bit, and you'll be in range. Just like, nope, must <laughs> path to get to him. Let's see. I need information on the escape pods. Yeah. Escape pods? I don't think he's blind. You don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. I feel like these would be the people to say, hey, we're Republic soldiers. Yeah. But look at his eyes. Yeah. It's iffy. Like, he could just have really cool eyes. Yeah, I think so. Don't worry. I'm not working with the Sith. <laughs> Man. See, I'd love to be in the Star Wars galaxy. 
If it was that easy. It's that fucking easy, man. Yeah, what do I gotta lose? Everything? Everything, that's all. Aha! Like, just give me a lightsaber. I don't even need the force powers. You probably want force powers to use a lightsaber the right way. I would want them, but I don't need them. <laughs> it would just take a really long time to learn how to use it properly. Oh, I forgot that's how you get her back. So how do you propose yep. to go about rescuing Bastion again? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastion is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. <laughs> I might be able to help you with this. This sounds like an anime. Like, the, just the build-up of it, or, or the... I don't know. <laughs> it just, it's really out of place. You want to you wanna save your friend that's about to be sold into slavery? Well, you've got to win this big race. Yeah. What are you proposing? Swoop races for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the hidden vest this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop in. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcan stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. Which that that base is actually pretty fun. Yeah. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But when you murder everyone. Yes. Mission failed. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. He's just a kid. How is she supposed to help him with this? Missions explore every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity. You know what? I wonder, had I come here, found out I needed mission, and then gone back to the bar, like gone to the bar for the first time, had I been able to get them as companions right then and there? I don't know. Actually, I, I forgot about that encounter in the bar first. But I imagine doing this probably teleports them down to the... Like they're just not in the bar anymore. Yeah. They never made it. And their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniform. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for There's a glitch that you can do. If you have Karth with the with the armor on, but you leave them back at the hideout. And mm -hmm. then come here and talk to him. You can make the trade, but then when you get Karth out of the hideout, he'll still have the armor, and you guys can still use it. Oh no shit! I suggest you. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Sure. I think I knew that. I think I've used that before. I didn't really want to do that because it just would have been a, a hassle time-wise. Yeah, uh, it's just a waste. I do like how, because there was an update not too long ago for this, I definitely think they've upgraded, updated the graphics a bit. Because it doesn't, it definitely doesn't look as bad as it used to. Yeah, it's less clunky. It's not great, but, you know, it's it's pretty smooth at least. Oh, another Black Vulture. Uh, here, take a grenade. Yeet. <laughs> oh. He did. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them over here, I think. Yeah. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, this interaction's fun. Just get the damn beef jerky. You're going in all stealthily. No, we know you got a bag. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Ah, 
You want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Imagine learning all these different languages, man. I bet a technology like a little earpiece that would translate it in real time would be so nice. I think they have something like that, but... We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Yeah, fuck no. We were just goofing around. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Jabba. Candorous is a dark side. Companion. Yeah, Candorous doesn't yeah. care if you're if you're evil. Uh, sure, I'll talk to you. Than a chorus and granite. What's up, Mando? They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden vex in line, but Grezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not Sounds like small it. talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Well, Oh, more apartments. More to explore! These are optional zones, but you always go through the optional zones. Oh, yeah. You know... Oh, it's this guy again. You know? A lot of these characters are just, like, giving a lot of... A lot of personal information to a complete stranger. Well, I mean, they probably live with the mentality of there's so many people always going that, like, there's a small chance that these people are going to even remember you. That's true. <clears throat> That's why traveling would be amazing. Mm. Ooh, dead. Dead. They didn't even have a chance. Can I get no, them remains? Badass. Dude, I'm I'm good. I don't want to fight. Right. You have business with them. Let me get them remains though. Re remains? I don't think so. God dang it! Sad. You were robbed. Start off with a grenade. Come on, just kill him. Okay, killed. Both of them. Yeah, they did. And now you're next. <laughs> I only hit him with one sword. Yeah, that is really nice. It's like if he's gonna miss with one, he misses with the other, too. Come on! You definitely need help. It's constitution, you said? Yeah. Let's see, um... Cart. There is nothing we can do about that. Ready? Sure. Mm -mm. Except walk into it. Bravely. Or just fucking go around it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I got what I needed in here. We're out of here. That's something that I should probably put some points into. Yeah. Oh, hey. Because that's going to come in handy down in the Undercity. Ooh, just kill him! Damn. Yeah, when this guy hits, he hits. But when he misses, it's all misses. Yeah, you're gonna have a problem with, like, boss fights, though. I actually think it'll be easier for me to hit bosses. You're squishy, though. You're definitely a DPS player right now. You don't have much health, though. Once you get more armor, that'll be fixed. Yeah, and my dude can take a lot of hits. Hmm. Cart, let's level you up. Skills, demolitions, please. We need something. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, there's not very many plans. options, are there? I always try to keep Karth as, like, the blaster. Yeah. 
Like, that's what he starts off being good with, so that's what I'm going to keep him doing. Too easy. And it's they didn't even nice have to have a range. Open up. Oh. Oh, once I'm... again. Read message. Oh, God. Alright, um, I'm going to finish this puzzle and then we'll be right back. Can you click the pause thing? It's like right on it. No, no, no you had it. Click, boom, bam, that easy. It was a story. You had to get elements from the story and answer a quiz. So, opening up the strong box. Ooh, Republic Mod Armor. Beautiful. I think that's going to be armor for Karth. I think you can mod that. Yeah. <laughs> Energy shield for you. And now we're off. Now Karth is all decked out. Look at him. Beautiful. Look at this boy. Sure. So much defense. Such defense. And so armor. Low security door. Just get Karth. Ooh, ooh, here's a good fight, so save it. I gotta make sure I really take my time and look at these saves. Yeah, don't save over something. Alright, yeah, we're gonna fight her and kill her. Nah, you're an assassin. You're an evil lady. I'll kill you. Evil bitch. I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. Bring it. Just Molly Whopper with the power attack. Yeah. Ready. You missed. She does got quite a bit of health. You missed again. Damn. Bro. So I, I'm about to double up on the uh, med kits because I can use one while paused, and then he's about to use one. That's really cool. Nice. You can be as dangerous as you want. You can't block a sword while being shot in the back. Yeah, it's got some upgrades for blasters. Mm -hmm. sure. Alright, first boss fight went well. What else you got in here? Normal stuff. I do like saving up on those computer spikes. Yeah. If you can somehow manage to get 200 computer spikes before the midpoint of the game, you can do something freaking hilarious. What? Like, at one point you get captured by, like, some kind of big old ship, uh -huh. and you can set it to self-destruct. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. If you've got two, but you need 200. That means, like, you can't use any, and you have to be buying them, like, a lot. Yeah. I did hear, I did read a thing where it's like, you can get your hunter's license on Tatooine, and you can... Like, because the, the sand people will keep respawning. You can uh. fight them infinitely. Um, so they were just like, yeah, just hunt. Ooh, did I forget stuff? I did. They are just like, just hunt the uh, the sand people and sell their sticks. And it's like, you could definitely do that. Get a lot of money and then just go to the droid shop, buy it. Because um, security yeah. spikes are infinite. Yeah. And they only cost, like, what? 50? No, 200. 200. They're expensive. Oh. Never mind. Go. Damn, you need 200 of them. That's cool, though. Have you ever done that? Have I ever what? Sorry. Uh, set the ship to self-destruct? No, I haven't, because, like, I've got to... I've never, like, had the availability of doing that. Yeah. I need to try that now. Oh my god, something's bothering Karth. Should we talk to Karth again? Jesus. Yeah. Get that character development. Wanna discuss something with him? Make him less of a bitch. I wanna discuss these issues. That's a very, like, super passive-aggressive way to start the conversation. It really is. Though. I wanna talk about these issues you seem to have with me. 
skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you do this. I'm just not built. He's built different. <laughs> He's got a hard time to make friends. Just a wee bit. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. I do take it personally. <laughs> You're gonna trust me, goddammit. Whether you like it or not. No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy. If that's even possible, why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important? What why do you even care? You still have to You've gotta trust people. Please just drop it. The power of now, friendship. Can we pick it up later if you really must? I wanna get underway. Sure you do, Karth, but you can never escape your feelings. Destroy your enemies with the power of religion. Follow your Bible. Spin, spin, spin. Oh my god. Yeah, you mean these security papers? <laughs> I know that there's a correct method of interaction with people. Like if you go to certain places, um, you can if if you're able to go through this place, you can come back down. And you can actually save some of the people with the serum. You just oh, have, you yeah. just have to get it to the doctor first yeah. before you try and help them now. You there? Ah, boy, out there. Anyone you can get <laughs> there has to pay the toll. Yeah, I don't think you understand the amount of people I've killed. Just to, right. get here. just to get here, to be standing here. Five credits. Five credits. Use our elevator. Five credits. I'm just gonna give him the five credits. Kill them. No. Kill Kill them. Brother. <laughs> five brother. <Five> credits. <laughs> Goes to get drunk. The one are credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two, get out of here. Don't care about that. These two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. Technically, I just added five credits to your guys' economy. That's true. That's a big boost. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Dake can. <laughs> Dake Chan. You're from the art world, aren't you? <laughs> That's gotta suck. Yeah, dude. Never seen the sun. And so it's like, I'm, I'm conflicted. Like, I can tell her it's a beautiful place, or I can tell her it's nothing special, but, like, doesn't that just crush her hope? Yeah. It's better than this festering <laughs> slime pit. Fuck the surface yeah. is a beautiful place. I'm gonna be, I'm good guy. For now. It'll help make up for not caring what happens to the planet later. Fair. leader of our village tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. Yeah. But when I was little, Yuka used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Yukio's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Yukio Rinkoskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest story in all the world. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the understanding. That is land. wild with these fucking um city planets, man. Like I'm sorry. there's regions in the undercities that like haven't been inhabited for centuries. Yeah. They're completely lost to the wilds of man-made cities. Like, this obviously isn't as big as Coruscant, but it's up there. It has multiple layers. Let's see, I think I'm just going to cut right to the chase and head out. 
Yeah. Oh god, this beggar. You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Ain't ya? You don't trust me. Right. He's actually had some good salvage sometimes. Yeah, you right. You right. I'll check him out. I know I don't have very much money. Oh, yeah, he's got oh wait, some no, I got armor. a bunch. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. And like, he just vibro fucking... Blades? You got a vibro sword? Oh, dude, he's got vibro swords. Yeah. He's, he's got, got good fucking uh, stuff. And like, he's just some scrapper down in the Undercity. On the surface of this trash oh, planet. <laughs> Let's see. Um, anything worthwhile of selling? Trying to get that Ichani power armor? Not really. Not really anything significant enough. What about the armor you're wearing? No. Alright, dude. I'm not selling my parts and my computer spikes. No. Those. Those come in handy way too much. All right, dude, I'll be back for that armor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need it for my juggernaut. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. <laughs> run, Hendar, run! <laughs> Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't... The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No. That's got to be a hard choice. But right. Like, they got a disease to worry about. Open the gate. Hindor will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Open the gate. I'll kill it. Your life for a stranger. I'll open XP, it. dude. Right. If I don't, that's XP gone. He clearly could have had the gate open for this guy to go through, but oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, easily. Karth. Excuse me. Uh-oh, Hendar's poisoned. Oh, don't let him in. No, he's sick. He's infected. Come on, Karth. Everyone gets infected. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlders. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But well, you got a party mouth. I still have you, Hendar. <laughs> Let's go back to the village. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Goodbye. Goodbye, Upworlder. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, time. I forget where you find them. Uh, they're, oh. oh, what? Speak of the devil. <laughs> they're right there. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Be more specific. Whoa, whoa, slow down, mission. What up? Which, that's bad. Looking for stuff we could find? <laughs> Scavenging? Stealing? A little bit of all three. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Dalbar would be right behind me. I got the fuck out of there. We couldn't get away. We couldn't get away. Oh no. I forgot she sounded like that, dude. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to finish talking with her. Um, do you know where they took him? Those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. Those Gamorians. Pig guys? Yeah. Will you help me get in the Volker base? Yes. Easy. We're just literally holding her Wookiee friend hostage. Right. It's like, hypothetically. have to find She sounds like a runt. Yeah, I mean, she is a child. That's mm. what people say. She's so young. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Got a three-person party now. Let me heal up. 
what do I want her to be? Because, like, mission has a lot of variability. Yeah. Attribute. She's already getting an attribute. You know what? Let's let's put her in intelligence. Might as well. Let's get that intel up. Computer use, security, and demolitions. She's going to be my demolitions expert. Oh, I got one left. Awareness. Boom. Karth is... Both of these two are better than me in yeah. light. In the light. Okay, um, let's give you some armor. Um, she can't wear any armor, can she? She can. Oh. I need to see. Does she have dueling? She does, so she needs to keep one blaster. You'll keep the heavy blaster. It deals more damage. Energy shield. Might as well. Buff up my dude. Keep all the best stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right save the game and that's gonna do it for this episode that guys we've been going quite a bit but um you know let us know if you guys want to see more you know this is going to be the end of our recording session um for today i believe yeah um but you know give us your feedback let us know we can talk about more random stuff more star wars things you know this guy is an endless treasure trove of star wars shit i don't know oh, about i am absolutely obsessed with it so mm -hmm. but let us know yeah, but the episode's been going on long enough. We'll go ahead and close it out here, guys. Um, have a good night. Enjoy your day, whichever it is. And as always, peace out.